Run over here to talk to you about your case. Hello, my name's Jessica. Thank you for taking the time to sit down and talk with me. I don't get many visitors. I was hoping to interview you about your case and the position that you're in. It's death row, not a position. I'm a journalism student and I'm about to graduate and I'm writing a series of articles for the university paper about, you know. Yeah, my uh, position. Inmates on death row, yes. I want to discover the men behind the headlines, give you a chance to speak your mind, to tell your side of the story. I want to help. You got the key to myself? It's the only way you're gonna help me. If you talk to me, then uh, I can get... What are you gonna do? You gonna swoop in, save the day? Convince everyone I'm innocent. Don't waste your time. Don't you want to get your story out there? <laughs> Look, sweetie, I told my story. I told the truth about what happened. They didn't believe me, they sentenced me to die. My side don't matter, never did. So you maintain your innocence? Why are you here? If you're innocent, why wouldn't you want people to know? They know, they don't care. Why are you here? I told you, I want to know who you are. I care about your side of what happened. I want people to know that you're a human being. You think I'm human? Of course I think Look so. Look at you. me when you say it. Yes, I think you're human. You think I'm guilty? <laughs> you do. You're just too afraid to admit it. No, it would break that big liberal heart of yours. Once I've heard your side, I'll answer that question. My story is in the court transcripts and the police reports. Don't they teach you anything at uh, your reporter school? I've read everything. I want to hear it from you. I want to look into your eyes and see if I believe you. I don't give a shit if you believe me or not. They're going to let me out if you believe me? Humor me. Fuck it. Okay, what do you want to know? All right, um, all right. Tommy hit me up that night for some blow, so I met him in the parking lot around 11. Sold him a few grams, then I left, went home, uh, smoked up, watched The Simpsons. A couple days later, cops busted and arrested me. I don't know who killed him, but when I left, he was still very much alive. Tommy was found in the car park on the morning of June 15th, with multiple stab wounds and his throat cut. His body was stripped and mutilated. Yeah, I know. I remember. We paraded the photos all over the courtroom like it was some fucked up art show. What happened to Tommy was sick. But I didn't do it. I sold the kid drugs. He was a customer, nothing else. What reason would I have to stab him 15 times? 17 times. 17 times, hack off his dick, slice his throat. I mean, to do all that, to do all that, wouldn't I have to have a damn good reason? <laughs> just, just think about it, dollars and cents. I run a business, he's a customer, he dies. I make less money. Why would I want to do that? That's exactly why I wouldn't do it. But no, that's all they had on me. My criminal lifestyle. There was never any real evidence. What about the cigarette? Jesus Christ, I never said I wasn't there. I had a smoke, I threw it on the ground, I lit it, so what? Write me a ticket. I sold him coke. Book me for that. But I didn't kill him. You know, I never thought twice about him. Now, I hate his fucking nuts. It's a punk 
anyway, and I'm glad he's dead. He's the reason I'm here. That's the side of the story he was hoping for. Settle down. He was my brother. You want to know why I'm here? Why I care enough to come and speak to you? Why I needed to hear what you had to say? Tommy was my brother. I needed to look you in the eyes and decide for myself if you killed him. If you were the one who tore apart my family. His sister. No, I don't remember you from the trial. I couldn't. I saw what it did to my dad and Lisa. It destroyed them. Now look at me and tell me the truth. Did you kill Tommy? I swear. Tommy wasn't what everyone said he was. The lawyers, the press, he wasn't some victim. A good kid that fell in with the bad crowd, that wasn't him. He was aggressive, short-tempered, violent. He was an addict, pot, pills, coke, whatever, you were his dealer, you know. He wasn't a victim though. What are you trying to say? I believe you. I don't think you killed my brother. You know? I used to think so. I was certain. It all made sense. You were there. You sold him drugs. Who else could it have been? It wasn't until after the trial that I was able to think and remember who he really was. The things I saw him do. The things that he did to me. I was 11 when my dad and I moved to the US. Tommy was 16, an adult. He'd look at me sometimes or make a comment. I thought it was normal, I'd never had a brother. And by the time I was 12, it got physical. You ever tell anyone? He said he loved me. If I told anyone, they'd take him away and break up the family, so. I let it happen, and that just became the way things were. It was our secret, and in a way that made me feel special. I felt loved, wanted, grown up. He acted like a good brother. He stood up for me, protected me. Everyone told me how lucky I was. And one day it just stopped. Maybe he got bored, or maybe I just got too old for him, but it was over like. Nothing ever happened. Jesus Christ. If there were others, then I'm sure that there were at least a few. Then someone had a reason to kill Tommy, a brother, a father. Maybe you didn't have a reason, but someone did. Explains the mutilation. Whoever killed him took the time to cut off everything. I know. That brutality is what they use to get the death penalty. But don't you see? That's exactly what we'll use to get you free, to make people listen. You'd be willing to come out and tell people what he did to you? How could I not? <sighs> that alone could be enough. People will read this and they'll pay attention. 
If people hear your story, my story, they can't ignore. They'll rally behind us. Look at those kids in Arkansas. The movement, the movies, the public outcry. People heard the facts and the state had to let them go. They walked out of jail and were free. It's your time. It could work. People have to know that you're innocent. They have to know who Tommy really was. They won't care about your past, the cigarette butt, the fight. They'll realize what Tommy was and they'll believe what you. What did you say? That the other stuff won't matter no, anymore. No. The fight. What are, what are you talking about? I never said anything about a fight. What are you talking about? I never told anybody. Nobody ever knew. How could you? Tommy must have told me. It happened that night. In the parking lot. We had words. He hit me. I hit him back. But it didn't go any further, so... I didn't say anything because I didn't want to, to, to condemn myself. And then... What? How do you know? I didn't. I thought that it was... Stop fucking with me. How do you know about the fight? I don't know what you're trying to get at. I'm here to help you. Maybe I should go. Pick up the... Where did you get that? Where did I get what, Richard? The ring, the ring around your neck, on your necklace. That's Tommy's ring. Yes, it is. How do you have that? He was my brother. He was wearing that that night. He hit me. They never found it. Goodbye, Richard. No. Wait! No, come back! Come back!